Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a pack walkthrough of torn paper or ripped paper from FCPX Full Access. This is an awesome new pack that's going to allow you to add this ripped paper or torn photo effect to your films and still images directly inside Final Cut Pro. This pack is loaded with 12 awesome rip designs and they come in a black and a white style so you get 12 white and 12 black. Creative pre-animated intros and outros so that you can animate the photos to come in and out as you like. 10 beautiful designer textures in black and white variations so that you can distress that photo. 6 subtle accents to add character. And we've even got built-in film burns for an authentic retro feel. So when you download torn paper from FCPX Full Access, you want to install that as an effect file. That will load it here into your effects browser on the right hand side and if you scroll down you'll come to torn paper and here you can see our massive pack absolutely fully loaded loads of cool awesome options. At the top we have section one which is our templates and these are all of our different styles of photo that we can choose from we have loads of different shapes loads of different styles and these come in black and white variations so you can see on the black edge there and you can see here on the white edge. If we scroll down we're going to come down to movements number two and this is basically intros and outros. This is going to allow you to use a pre-animated motion to bring the photo in and out in a creative way. We scroll down to three accents. These are just little things that are going to accentuate the effect a little bit, give it a bit of a human element, a human feel. And four, finally we have textures and these are beautifully designed textures, little grunge textures that give you that retro look and feel. And these are very easy to switch from black and white and change the opacity. I'll show you how to do all this in a minute. So scrolling back up to the top, come up to our templates. So I have this lovely clip of this skateboarder skateboarding into the sunset. This is going to be perfect for this effect. So with this selected, I'm going to come over to templates. I'm going to pick one that I think works with this. So I think number eight is going to look great. So if I double click on number eight, that will drop it onto our film. Let's see how that looks straight away. So that's looking really professional. You can see how the film is masked inside this frame and it looks really authentic, really retro. But of course, there might be things you want to change about this. So if we come up to the right hand side, you can see over in our inspector, we've got our published parameters. And to get over to this, you just want to make sure that you have these three sliders selected. And then you can come down to this movie icon and that opens up your published parameters. And here we're going to be able to change things like our scale, the position of our clip, but I'm going to leave it how it was. We also have on-screen controls here that we can drag around and we can rotate and we can also change the scale. Sometimes a little off-center can look really nice with a little rotation on it. Next coming down we have our drop shadow. Of course on a black screen you won't be able to see any drop shadow so I'll just pop a white background there. So now you can see our drop shadow and we can change things like the opacity, the distance, the angle. Or of course we can turn it off entirely and we can have a completely flat image. But I think the drop shadow adds a really nice depth to this. Scrolling down we have our age style and here we can add film burns. So you might have noticed when this was playing, it's added film burns which is a really lovely retro technique that makes just gives a film that timeless feel. We can choose from three styles here, we've got burn 1, burn 2 and burn 3. Burn 3 is quite a nice subtle one. We can also change the level of hairs and dust. These just add a bit of a vintage feel. We can choose if we want to add grain or not and how much of that and as well the type of grain. I think TV static is a really nice grain. And if we scroll down we have our final section which is style filters and these are just really quick really easy stylistic choices that you can make. So things like black and white or you can scroll through and you can check out the different color combinations you can get. You can also stack these and it creates different feels and you might find one that you like that looks quite cool or it might just go for one on its own. Yeah I quite like that toned that's a bit more subdued. They've got a real vintage vibe. So let's see how that looks after you made those small stylistic changes. Great it is looking so cool. So now I'm going to come back to our pack and if we scroll down we've got movements. As I said these are basically intros and outros. This is basically just going to allow you to add these into your project really creatively and in a really effective way. So for now I'll use rotate and scale. Again we can just double click and let's see how that looks. Awesome. So you can see how this could be added to our project really seamlessly and it could be a really creative effect. Something you might want to do is you might want to add motion blur to this intro and outro section. That just adds a bit more of a premium element, a bit more of a professional touch. At FCPX Full Access we also have some motion blur, you're welcome to check it out. I'll just add some now and let's see the difference that makes.
that's awesome. So you can see how that just smooths out the transition a little bit more. We come back over to our effects pack, we go down to accents. Like I said, these are just things that are going to add a little bit of a human element, a bit of a creative spark to this. So something like handheld can be really effective. I'm just going to double click on handheld. It just makes it feel like the camera was moving as it was being filmed. It's a really kind of just a subtle human element. I also quite like to add grow and shrink. I like to have things slowly scale in. So if I come up to our inspector in the right hand side, you can now see we've got our plugin here, which is the frame 08. We scroll down, rotate and scale. That's our intro and outro. We can choose whether you want to turn that on or off. Handheld, we've got that here. So we can choose how strong we want it to be, how much we want the handheld to be, how fast we want it to be and grow and shrink. And here we can choose what I want it to scale to. So if I want it to scale to 20%, that means this is going to increase 20% in size over the course of the clip. I can also go to negative. So if I wanted it to scale out, I could go to negative 20, say for example, and it would scale out over the course of the clip by 20%. Let's see how that looks. That is looking really, really cool. So finally, we've got our textures. If we come over to the pack, we come down to textures here, and you can see how these are grungy retro filters, and these are just gonna add a bit of an aging element to your film. So I'm gonna try eight on this one. If I double click, so you might not be able to tell because of the white background, but if I turn off the white background, you'll see that this has applied it to the whole frame. So there's a really easy way to fix this. Click on your clip, we come over to our inspector on the right hand side. It might be easiest if we hide 08, just to save us some space and so we can see everything in one view. And we come down to the text that we, we've just added, 08 here. And we're just gonna drag that to the top here. And you can see how that instantly, that drops it straight inside the frame. Now, if you didn't want it to be white, all you've gotta do is select this and it goes to black. We can also change the opacity. And I think just a little bit of a more subtle opacity looks good. And there you go, we have our finished effect. Let's see how that looks. That's looking so professional and it was really easy. We didn't really have to change anything to get this effect, but of course we can change little changes that we want to make. So that's basically all for today. This is a really easy to use pack, super creative and looks great. If you stack this effect on top of each other, you can get this amazing collage effect. You just use the intros and the outros to make them come in creatively or go out creatively. And yeah, just play around with this and we can't wait to see what you guys do with this one. So stay creative and we'll see you in the next video.